Okay, so, uh, so far we have a uh, speaker with a amplifier and we have a noise source which is right here. And today I'm going to add this part of the circuitry. Um, so every um, synthesizer needs to generate sounds, right? And you need to have a tone. And so we're going to generate a tone generator. And um, a lot of uh, synthesizers have different types of tones. I mean, that's the whole point of a synthesizer is to create new sounds. And so they generally um, have several options on, on analog synthesizers. You can choose a square wave, you can choose a sine wave, you can choose a, a triangle wave, uh, things like that. And so I thought we would add at least a couple tones here and uh, give that a go. So here's the circuit that I'm going to be using. All right. And uh, this is kind of an interesting circuit, but it allows us to do everything with just one op amp or one package. So two op amps in a, in a dual op amp package. I'm going to be using a TL072, but any old op amp will work probably just fine. And so this is kind of a two section uh, device. Uh, this section right here uh, should look like an integrator. Okay, so this is an integrator. It, uh, it Put, you put a voltage here, a current comes through this resistor, and that current charges a um, capacitor, a constant, constant, um, constant current, and you'll get a straight line. It'll, it'll ramp up. If you put a negative voltage here, it'll ramp down. Okay? And so uh, we're going to take that ramp up and ramp down thing, and we're going to feed it around into this circuit here, and basically we're just going to be using using this one as a uh, comparator. It's either going to be a uh, uh, switch as it goes through ground. It's going to compare everything to ground. So if it's bigger than ground, it'll flop. If it's larger than ground, it'll flop the other way around. So flop, 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 flop. So what we should see at this point here is that we should see a square wave, okay? Because every time it flops, then the integrator will go and then it'll come back around and it will and it'll flop the other way, so we should, we should see a square wave here, okay? So let's go ahead and hook up a oscilloscope. Let's see here, make sure things don't slip onto the floor. Okay, so I'm going to be using the scope probe. I'm going to be probing around a certain, uh, certain places. The first thing we'll probe here is, um, is pin 1 of the op amp. So we should, we should see a square wave there at... at uh, at pin one. And so let's go up to our oscilloscope and take a look. And here is pin one, and that's really big. It's really, really big. And there we go. Uh, five volts per division, and so it's going up to 12 volts and then down to 12 volts and up to 12 volts and down to 12 volts, which is what you would expect from a comparator, right? It'll go whack, 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 whack. Um, and what did I say for the, uh, the other op amp? The other op amp is a um, integrator. So we should see a straight line. We should see some type of ramp, all right? So let's uh, take a look at pin seven and it's lower in amplitude. And there we go, it's uh, set, so it's switching at about one volt. So it goes up to plus one volts and it switches and it goes down to minus one volt, one volt. And uh, those voltages are sort of set uh, by a divider here in the circuit. This uh, 150K and 10K kind of does a, 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 a divide by a 15 type of thing here. Uh, but you get, a, you get about a one volt swing out of this as it comes around and flop, flop, flops over here. And uh, yeah, there we go. So we have uh, over here, let's draw on the uh, schematic, get that out of the way. Okay, I already have the square wave here, but over here we're getting a triangle wave, right? We're getting a nice triangle wave. This one's going up and down 12 volts. This one's going up and down one volt. And so we're going to have to take uh, this and we're going to have to take its output. Let's say its output comes down over here. We're going to have to uh, put a resistive divider on it, okay, such that we get a uh, we get a, a square wave here that's basically one volt. If this is a plus or minus one volt, we want this to be plus or minus one volt, okay. 
and I've done that here on the board and I have brought out uh, those signals here on a header okay and so the first header is the uh, is actually the noise source the next one is the square wave and the next one is a triangle wave so let me let me show those to you all right so uh, the first one is the noise source there we go there's lots of noise and the next one is the square wave, about 142 hertz, 442 hertz. And uh, then the triangle wave, which is the same frequency, right? All right. So now that we have a, a waveform, this header allows me to select which one I want to hear. If I put the header here, um, it's making the... Uh, noise source go through. If I put the header here, there's the uh, square wave going through. And if I put the header here, that is the sine, uh, uh, triangle wave going through. So now we have a couple of uh, tones that we can play with, right? This one's... So a lot of uh, square waves sounds kind of like a brass instrument, right? A, tr a trumpet or something. And then the uh, triangle wave is a little more mellow. Maybe it's more like a clarinet. Um, so uh, that's how you get the basis for some tones. Um, the next section I believe I'm going to build is going to be a, a mixer. Okay, so right now I have a, a, a jumper as as my selector, I have a selector, but what if I had those three tones and I wanted to mix them together? I want to sum those three things together and then hear, hear the summations and see what that sounds like, okay? So that'll be the next thing I build is a, uh, is a mixer circuit. Okay, so we've, we're outputting about 440 hertz, that's an A. Um, and this particular resistor here, this potentiometer, we can change the value of this resistor. Uh, this will change the tone that will change the frequency. It will change the amount of current into the integrator. So if I change this, we'll hear the, uh, we'll hear the frequency change and we will hear the uh, pitch, the pitch change. Okay. So let's put it back here on the, uh, so we can hear it. And then if I change that resistor and I can't hear it anymore <laughs> that's as low as it'll go I think I want it to go a little bit lower so I'm gonna to have to add some resistance somewhere it goes too high and it doesn't go low enough, so I think I just need to add some resistance on the final product, but... D. What do we think that tone is? Any guesses? 412. Yeah, I don't have perfect pitch, but I know what an A is supposed to sound like, and that's kind of close to an A. 